Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try one of these Atkins meals. This is the farmhouse style sausage scramble. It's scrambled eggs with green and red bell peppers, custom, custom made sausage, okay, and fire roasted onions topped with American cheese. Custom made sausage. <laughs> that just sounds weird. Um, this one is high protein and they're supposed to be low carbs, so four grams of sugar and four grams of net carbs. The uh, we bought these at Kroger for three seventy nine. And by the way, I don't watch carbs. I'm just telling you that's what they, that's what Atkins is all about. This is something I hadn't tried before. One bowl is three hundred forty calories, and there's the other stuff for you if you want. Let's see directions are on the top. So there's the ingredients. Here's the microwave directions. That's the only way you cook. Only one product at a time. Um, place a slit in the center of the film. Microwave for three minutes. Stir and then cook an additional minute and then let it sit for a minute. So three, stir, and then one. Pretty good size hunks of sausage in there. So I'm gonna cut a little slit in here, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. It has still has to sit for a minute to cool off and probably to finish cooking a little bit, but uh, that's what it looks like. Ooh, steam. So I'm gonna let this cool off and uh, I'll be right back. It smells really strongly of peppers and onions and, and eggs. So you ever had eggs with peppers and onions? That's what it smells like. So anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I've let it sit for a minute, to let it cool off, finish cooking, whatever it's gonna do. So this is the bite I'm gonna take. It's got um, sausage, pepperoni, I mean pepperoni, huh, peppers, onions, um, eggs, of course. It's and I think cheese is just kind of all through it. So here we go. I didn't really taste the sausage much. I'm gonna try a bite with just sausage by itself. If you've ever had uh, a scrambled egg with peppers, and onions, and cheese, that's what that bite tasted like. Let me try the sausage because I don't. It wasn't very strong. When you eat it by itself, you really taste that sausage. It's, it tastes like a um, a sausage link. Like if you've had the little sausage links you buy um, and fry them in a skillet. That's what that sausage tastes like. It tastes just like a, um, a sausage link. Um, the eggs and stuff though, kind of overpower the taste of that sausage when you get them together. Let me see again. It's the onions that take over, the onions and cheese. Anyway, this is really good. If you've ever made this at home, at homemade, I think you'd be impressed with this. It's, it's very good. It um. Like I said, it has a very, very good peppers and onion flavor. Ooh, cheese is stuck on the side. I like that brown cheese. Um, the peppers and onion flavor is really strong. You really taste the egg and the cheese. Um, strong onion flavor. And again, if you get the sausage kind of by itself, if you take a small bite with just sausage and a little bit of egg, uh, I think you'll taste the sausage a lot better. So overall, an okay meal. I don't think it's bad at all. I would give this... Um, like I said, it really does taste like a homemade meal. I'm going to give this one a five because it really does taste like something I would make um, at home in a skillet. So just being uh, that tasting that authentic and that um, homemade taste, then I like that. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a five. Definitely something I would I would eat again. It, would, it tastes really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.